three balls of plasticine, all the same size. I made that one into a pancake. Perfect. What on earth are we doing? We are working out why boats float. Why boats float? Because mm -hmm. boats are actually really heavy, and so you probably would think they would sink. But we know that boats float in the water. Oh, yeah. I never really thought about that. Yeah. So boats float partly because of their shape. So we can test how things float by their shape. You see this piece of plasticine? Yeah. It is in a ball shape. Do you think it'll float or sink? Um, it's a lot lighter than a boat, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna say float. Okay, that's a good guess. Let's test it and see what happens. Oh. Mm. Oops. It's okay, it sank, but that's the fun thing about science, is you do an experiment and you see what happens. Oh. So why don't we try your new shape? You made this nice flat pancake shape. Did I do it okay? It was perfect. Okay. So this shape has a larger surface area, but weighs the same. Do you think it'll float or sink? Um, if it's about shape, then it is a different shape. So I'm gonna say float. Great, so let's do a science experiment and see. We put it in the water and it sank. Oh. That's okay, that's part of the science. Okay. So what about if we make a shape that's like a boat? Oh. And this boat has space for the air inside here, making it very light for its size. <laughs> what we want to do is make a shape that displaces lots of water. Just like when you get into a bathtub, the water has to rise to make oh. room for you. Yeah, it does. We're going to see if that makes a difference. Float or sink? <gasps> it floats! It totally <laughs> floats. Better than that, it can float and we can put some rocks in here and it can take lots of weight. Just like a real boat. Just like a real boat. So boats float because of their shape and they have air inside them making them more buoyant or lighter in the water. Right. Oh, this is so much fun. I can't wait to tell my friend Mo. I kind of wish we could keep doing it, but uh, I feel kind of bad. Maybe we should give Mo Jr. his house back.